Uh, this is an email, this first one. Email at thewoodyshow.com. This is from Caitlin. And the subject, St. Patrick's Day. Oh. I know you guys are probably too stupid to know this. Most Americans <laughs> are. But St. Patrick's Day is nothing more than cultural appropriation. Oh. And your show was full of it. Ah. Hmm. I heard someone reference an Irish car bomb. As an Irish person, that's a pretty offensive term. It's like if I were to talk about an American drink and call it the 9-11 Twin Towers or the Osama Bin Laden drink, people would freak out. Like I said, you guys are probably too American and dumb to know this, so it's fine. That was passive aggressive. So American. Mm. So it's fine. But I just wanted you to be aware that it was offensive to anyone listening who was Irish. We got to pass. Yeah. You've already lost me as a listener, but consider this a sign to change how you talk or you will lose even more and more listeners. That is from Kayla. Yeah. She lost her. Bye, Caitlin. Well, hate to break it to you, Caitlin, but I am Irish. And that's a nah dog. I'm going to miss everybody. Bye. Bye. All right, so we've, we've, we've lost Caitlin. Yeah, that's right. McMurray. Yes. Hello, oh, hi. You wouldn't know it looking at him or hearing no. him. No. Yeah. Oh, is that an Irish accent? Nah, nah dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dog. Nah. <laughs> It only comes out when I'm Nar, drinking. Nar, Nar. dog. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is one of those station <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nar, dog. Nar, dog. Caitlin. 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 Get the Caitlin. Out of here. Nar, yeah. player. Caitlin. All right. This is uh, one of those station feedback emails from Cindy. Subject, inappropriate content. Totally. Oh, no. And on these, uh, it always asks the uh, reply requested. Yes. Yeah, I want to Hell hear back yes. from you. I'm saying bye, but I want to keep the conversation going. I'm a regular listener of the radio station, and while I've heard many commercials for The Woody Show over the years, due to my schedule, I never spent much time listening to it. Hell no. However, I just got let go from my job a few weeks ago, and I've been taking over the job of driving my son to school. He's 10. In the course of three weeks, I've had to change the station numerous times for various reasons, including but not limited to fart noises, mm-hmm. sexual innuendos. Oh, yeah poo-pooing of global warming mm. and the icing on the cake which is a very mature skit they called we're going to 69 with the news mm. <laughs> it's pretty close the content wasn't sexual but now my 10 year old won't stop just randomly saying 69 hell yeah Lucky. nice Good. is this what the station is really all about are you part of the grooming that is taking place in this society with our young kids yes mm. you must know that there are children out here who are listening with their parents Do you really want to be responsible for kids repeating 69 over and over because they heard it on your radio station? I bet you don't. I do. Wrong. Be a good role model or get off the air. We are mindful of little ears. Yep. That is uh, is from Cindy. We've lost Cindy. Ah, Cindy. I mean, how many times you got to tune in before you... I know, right? I'm going to miss everybody. Cindy. At least he's saying 69. Yeah. <laughs> like how many chance. times do you have to tune in just to tune out before you realize that, hey, you know, not if it's kids. because the kid's in the car. Now, if it's not for you, that's one thing. But yeah. if the kid's in the car, like, maybe I don't do that when the kid's there. That's all. Mindful right. of little ears. Mindful of little ears. I'm mean, sensing an opportunity for role model radio. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Another station feedback email. This one's from Chase. Subject, respect for art. Reply requested? Yes. To whom it may concern, I work in the film industry where blood, sweat, and tears are put into the making of a film. Especially on Alec Baldwin shoots. Yeah. Get it. (laughs) Get it. it. Millions of dollars, years of planning. People think what we do is easy, but it's certainly not. I would love to know what job they have. Right. Do they drive the... I mean, there shuttle. are terribly sucky jobs on a film set. You know? uh, that said, I want to brought to your attention that your morning show is a liability and is straight up irresponsible with their content. Wow. I heard an entire segment about the film Triangle of Sadness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Being in the industry, I was already deeply familiar with it. Deep natch. But as it was being discussed, there were there was divulging of the plot and key spoilers. Really, guys? Yeah, we, that's why we said spoiler alert. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I know you probably brushed this off, but I can assure you that this hurts the artists. It hurts the studios. You are giving the movie away and mocking it to the point that some people won't even bother purchasing a ticket, Uh-oh. renting, or buying this movie when they otherwise would have. 
And we were doing it as a public service. In a roundabout <laughs> way, this is theft. Yeah. Oh. At the very least, disrespectful of the art. I would appreciate a call from a manager to let me know not only how this incident will be addressed, but also what steps and or training will be implemented to ensure this type of irresponsible content does not happen again. That is from Chase. Mm. Chase we've, wants us to have more training. We've lost, <laughs> we've right. lost oh, Chase. No. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I have a friend who loves Triangle of Sadness, and I'm like, you're just messing with me. Right, <laughs> you're lying. I forgot to ask, did that turn a profit, that movie? Uh, well, it's tough to say because it, it was a European release. Yeah. yeah. Did. And it wasn't art. It was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it was a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah, Chase. Uh, it was garbage. See. Garbage. Triangle of garbage. Yeah. All right, how about this one? This is uh, just sent to the Woody Show email. Email at thewoodyshow.com. It's from Mark. Subject, food for thought. Okay. Woody, I know you're not a religious person, but I'm hoping this email will appeal to your reasonable, socially responsible side. I love Greg. It's a character on the show. However, when it comes... To his on the sleeve homosexuality gets complicated for me as a Christian. On the sleeve. <laughs> as Christians, it is important to approach this topic with humility, compassion, and a commitment to understanding diverse perspectives. But I gotta say, when he references his quote partner and discusses things like openly engaging in gay sex in full view of a neighbor, it's out of bounds for me. Oh, full view. Uh, full view when he climbed up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul also refers to homosexuality in his letter to the Romans, stating that those who engage in same-sex relationships, quote, exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. Okay. However, I believe it's important to note that the Bible also teaches the importance of love, compassion, and acceptance of all people, which I live by. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is that Greg is who he is or who he thinks he is, and I'm okay with that privately. Keep but it why in the not, closet, man. But why yeah. not just leave that part out on the air? Yeah. Is it really necessary? Just say he's in a relationship. Partner, oh. everyone knows, is code for same-sex partner. Thank you. I believe you can reach a larger audience if you're not actively turning off a huge segment of your potential audience, indulging in content that glorifies behavior and a lifestyle that God says is sinful. Thanks a lot, Greg. I appreciate your time. And that is for Mark. We've lost Mark! Mark. Uh, oh, boy. I do talk about that one I know, right? thing all the time. Obsessed. It's hard not to, you know. We ta we, we've out. talked about this yeah. before, that when Greg was first coming out, he called me privately. Oh, that's right. He, he was he worried. thought as a Catholic, I was no longer going to accept yeah, him. Right. And yeah. I wasn't going to be his friend anymore. Right. I and you have really it. You said, you got that right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she phonies it up yeah, for get the out air. Of here, homo. It was a very emotional said. phone it call. It was. I yeah. was bawling my eyes out. I yeah. thought you would hate me. And then yeah. yeah. I told this queer to hit the bricks. Right. Yep. <laughs> Off air, she's she, brutal. She said, you think about what you've done to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and maybe I'll talk to you again someday. Maybe. Only if I get to watch. Yeah. <laughs> you film what you do, and we'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I got uh, one more crossroads. Oh. Oh. This is another one. This is uh, sent to our email, email at thewoodyshow.com. It's from Sean. No subject. Oh. This email is only the first step. By the time I am done, asses will be kicked, and you will no longer be on the air. Oh, no. Oh, no. My girlfriend was featured on a segment called DUI Trivia. Uh, <laughs> the DUI T. DUI Trivia. The a-hole interviewing her straight up took advantage of her and made her look and sound like an idiot on purpose. Yeah, I did that. She's not dumb. In fact, she has a college degree. That's tough. That's tough to get these days. <laughs> <laughs> but now the whole world thinks she is an idiot, and if this causes her to lose out on a job, you will be sued. I am making it my life's work to get this show off the air. You messed up when you decided to pick on my woman. Yeah, pick on. Thanks a lot, Seabass. And when you're sitting in the unemployment line, Ooh. wondering how you're going to survive, wow. I hope you feel it was all worth it. It was. <laughs> that is from Sean. We've lost wow. Sean, you guys. I repeat, we've lost uh, Sean. I wonder who his girlfriend yeah. was. Come on, Sean, dummy. Everybody, I'm going to miss everybody. Hi, Sean. I want to hear some of her answers. And if this is your life's work, you are wasting your life. Yeah. <laughs> Get some life wasted. Because you two are going to be together forever. Hell yeah. You dumb kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Captain Save-A-Ho. 
That's right. Well done, Mark. Also, there. also bring it and try to like confront me in my car when I go down to the parking lot. My name's Menace. <laughs> uh, I no, have a beard. That is sea bass talking. I wear a Joe Coy hat. <laughs> That is sea bass. Bring it, bitch. Bring it, bitch. Well, there's your uh, Woody Sad. Show Crossroads. I'm wearing a black Woody Show hoodie, and I can beat uh, your yeah. ass. Yeah. Nope. That is sea Come bass, Come on down here, loser. Bring your girlfriend, uh, too, so she can watch. I'll show you. I'm Menace. 